हेलो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर स्टडिंग बायोलॉजी क्लास इलेवेंथ चैप्टर नंबर सेवन सेल डिविजन ओके वी हैव ऑलरेडी स्टार्टेड विद दिस चैप्टर वी आर कंटिन्यूइंग दिस चैप्टर इन अवर लास्ट लेक्चर्स वी हैव स्टडीड अबाउट सेल साइकिल देन वी हैव स्टडीड माइटोसिस stages of mitosis that is prophase metaphase anaphase telophase then we have studied cytokinesis and then we have studied about the significance of mitosis and we have studied cytokinesis in plant cell and animal cell okay so in this all things we have studied in detail we have even studied about the death of a cell okay all these things we have studied in detail in our last lectures so today let us start with the next process of this chapter next process of cell division that is meiosis meiosis is taking place after the mitosis okay meiosis takes place after mitosis so what do you mean by meiosis let us start with the definition of meiosis the form of cell division by which gametes with half the number of chromosomes are produced is known as meiosis the term meiosis okay meiosis means again i am repeating definition the form of cell division by which gametes with half the number of chromosomes are produced that means half number of chromosomes are produced in meiosis see here it is given diploid 2n and after meiosis it becomes haploid that is n it becomes half okay so diploid condition is resulting into the haploid condition meiosis is a sexual reproduction the term meiosis was coined by jb farmer in the year 1905 the cells in which meiosis occur are called meiocytes okay the process in which the meiosis takes place the cells in which the meiosis occurs are called as meiocytes so what is meiosis meiosis this was coined by jb farmer okay first time this term was coined by jb farmer in 1905 it takes place only in reproductive cells during the formation of gametes so this is very important thing that it takes place only in reproductive cells so this process is called as meiosis is known as sexual reproduction okay it is just taking place only and only in reproductive cells by this division the number of chromosome is reduced to half hence it is also called as reductional division you can see 2n is getting reduced to n that means the number of chromosomes are reduced so it is also known as reductional division the cells in which meiosis takes place are termed as meiocytes meiosis produces four haploid daughter cells from a diploid parent cell meiosis is of two subtypes okay so let us study in detail about meiosis first let us study the significance the importance of meiosis meiosis halves the number of chromosomes going to sex cells so that the offspring will have both the mother and father's genetic material so it is very much important that the offspring should have the genetic material of both mother as well as father so during meiosis this is happening that is meiosis halves the number of chromosomes going to sex cells okay so that the both mothers and fathers genetic material enters the offspring meiosis reduces the chromosome numbers so that the offspring will be normal it brings about variation of offspring or individuals next is stages of meiosis there are two stages of meiosis that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 first meiotic division or heterotypic division meiosis 1 is known as heterotypic division that is meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 is known as homotypic division that is second meiotic division or homotypic division that is meiosis 
Meiosis 1 is divided into five phases. It begins with one diploid parent cell and ends with two haploid daughter cells having the number of chromosomes in each cell. Okay, halving the, that means half of the number of chromosomes are there in each of the cells. Meiosis 2 is divided into four phases. That is meiosis 2 starts with two haploid parent cells and ends with four haploid daughter cells, maintaining the number of chromosomes in each cell. So we are going to study both meiotic division, meiosis 1 and meiosis 2 in detail. Now, so let us start with the first meiotic division or heterotypic division. Okay, uh, these are the phases of meiosis 1. We are starting with meiosis 1. So let us see the phases of meiosis 1. Meiosis 1 means the reduction division. Okay, in this the cells will be reduced. Diploid mother cell produced says two haploid cells. Prophase 1, there are four stages in meiosis 1. That is prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1. Okay, prophase 1 is divided into five substages. That is leptotene, zygotene, pacotene, diplotene and diakinesis. So, prophase 1 is divided into Leptotene, zygotene, pacotene, diplotene and diakinesis. So, one by one we are going to study all the subphases in detail. Okay, students? So, first let us start with prophase 1. During, <coughs> during first mitotic division, let us once again go through this. First mitotic division, diploid cell is divided into two haploid cells. The daughter cells resulting from this division are differentiated from the parent cell in chromosome number. Hence, this division is also called heterotypic division. Okay, this division is also called as heterotypic division. It consists of the phases like prophase 1, metaphase 1, Anaphase 1, telophase 1 and cytokinesis 1. Okay, I repeat. Meiosis 1 consists of phases like prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1 and cytokinesis 1. So, let us start with prophase 1. Prophase 1 means this phase is the longest Longest phase, okay, prophase 1 is the longest phase among the four phases, that is metaphase, anaphase, telophase. Prophase 1 has longer duration, okay, it is the longest and most complex phase. 90% of the meiotic process is spent in prophase 1, okay. That means more of the process is taking place in prophase 1. Chromosomes are getting condensed in this phase. Synapsis occurs. That means homologous chromosomes come together to form a tetrad. Okay. All the homologous chromosomes are coming together to form a tetrad. What do you mean by homologous chromosomes? Homologous chromosomes means the chromosomes which are similar. Morphologically as well as genetically as well as structurally. Same type of chromosomes are known as homologous chromosomes. When homologous chromosomes come together and form the tetrad, it is known as synapsis. Okay, tetrad is two chromosomes or four chromatids, sister and non-sister chromatids. Okay, <clears throat> you can see here the diagram of prophase 1. That is sites of crossing over, spindle formation, tetrad formation, fragments of the nuclear envelope, sister chromatids as well as non-sister chromatids. Okay. Prophase 1 is the longest phase in duration compared to the prophase in mitosis. We can even say that prophase 1 of meiosis is longer than the prophase in mitosis. Here in the process of meiosis also it is the longest phase but the duration is much more longer than the prophase of mitosis also. Okay. Among the prophase 1, metaphase 1, anaphase 1, telophase 1, prophase 1 is the longest phase. 
it has longer duration but as comparison with the mitosis the prophase of mitosis is also having less duration than the prophase of meiosis that means the prophase 1 is the longest phase among all the phases of mitosis as well as the other phases of meiosis 1 okay i hope it is clear to you all it takes about 85 to 95 percent of the total time for meiosis and also much more complex process the prophase one is divided into five stages that is leptotene zygotene paketene diplotene and diakinesis i repeat prophase one includes five sub stages that is leptotene zygotene paketene diplotene and diakinesis all these stages sub stages five sub stages we have to study in detail okay prophase 1 has the longer duration the significant features which are peculiar to meiosis occurs in this phase this phase can be subdivided into five sub stages that is leptotene zygotene paketene diplotene diakinesis students you have to repeat this words with me that is leptotene zygotene paketene diplotene and diakinesis so each of the subdivision sub stages we are going to study in detail one by one okay in our next lecture so thank you for today we will continue this topic in our next lecture